Hi, my name is Terry, and this is the first video of many videos on how to pick locks. Now, this is basically aimed for locksmiths, not for lock sport. But what we'll talk about is uh, the difference uh, right now is locksmiths have, have a certain amount of time. We're for profit. We have to pick open the lock in a set period of time. And if we can't pick it, then we have to use other methods of entry. And that could be up slipping the lock, finding the fault in it, up to including drilling the lock. And there's no shame for a locksmith to drill a lock if he's been practicing how to pick locks. He has, a, you know, not every lock is pickable in a certain amount of time. Then we have on the other extreme, what I call government lock picking. There is no budget or time when that lock has to be open. That is basically covert and overt methods of opening a lock and there is no time limit. And then the other extreme is lock sport. And I absolutely love lock sport, learn a lot of things off them. But again, it's different. How they're going about picking locks is not, you know, they're in it for fun. They can have all sorts of different tools or specialized tools meant just for that one lock. And it, a lock sport is, is great. I love it. I think uh, all locksmen should be involved in lock sport. It's just too much fun. But on that extreme, they're doing it for pleasure. They're doing it for fun. They're not doing it for money. They have one way of sort of getting through it. So they want to pick the lock with special picks or regular picks and get through that lock. This series is more geared for the locksmiths that have to pick the locks and have to open it. I've been doing this for a long time and I've been teaching a lot of people. I think I made this when I was about 11 years old. I used to have a safe dial in there. I didn't have this method. I sort of evolved into this method. But what I used to do is have a lot of locks. And what I found is, I would, if you take a lock out of a bag, a box or bag, and you pick it in your hand, you're not really learning how to do it for when you get out onto the job and into the real world. So you may be a great lock picker when you're holding the lock. But the bottom line is you get to put your whole body into it. And that is a really good advantage that lock sport has because your whole body is sort of moving and getting into it and you get a good feel for the lock. When the lock is on the door or the padlocks locked on the hasp on the wall, but basically I'm talking about it's, it's a door lock, it's on the cabinet or whatever it's fixed. I'm a firm believer picks have to be made in North America or Germany. Uh, there may be other European countries, probably England, but right now, uh, North America, uh, the U.S. makes some of the best lock picks in the world, but they are geared for North American made locks. We have a lot of uh, offshore stuff from China. I don't like them. You know, the quality is not there. These things are crappy. They bend, they break. They look really cool for the beginner. You can, you know, there's all sorts of fun looking picks and everything. But no, don't buy anything offshore, Chinese made. Now I'm talking the regular lock picks. We, we all know Li Shi is made in China and it's a phenomenal product. Beginners get a little bit too hung up on the picks and the style or, and all these different uh, menageries. It's kind of cool to have, I love opening up my, my, you know, the picks. This is just a set I grabbed, you know, I, I have a nice collection of picks and, and you'll see them over the series, what I have and whatever. But when I'm teaching beginners, the, the three, and you can, I have another video on this as well, but I'm, I'm going to go over it again here. The three most important picks for beginners, not advanced and not as you move along, but start with the basics. And the basics can be called is the diamond pick, the rake or the snake, and the hook. Now I find for beginners, the rake is a great pick to start with. And most people who win the competitions or some of the best lock pickers actually use a hook. And I have my favorites, but when I'm teaching beginners, you start with the basics and, and at least start with these three picks. The hook, the diamond, and the rake or the snake. And again, this is a HP set. There's other sets, the Peterson sets. Handles is whatever you want. Now these are good for beginners. Some people have nice fancy wooden ones. Some people have nothing. These are good beginner picks. These are tension wrenches. You can call them whatever you want and whatever. For my granddad called them tension wrenches. My dad and my uncle called them tension wrenches. And it's for turning, just for turning, not for opening the lock, use a screwdriver. But 
the tension wrenches. And these are probably the most important part of your lock pick kit. This is just for beginners. I like the flexible one. It's just spring steel. And then I like the rigid or the firm one. Tension is the most important thing for picking a lock. It's probably the most important part. And don't believe anything you've read that says tension doesn't matter and all this other stuff. I, I can't believe I've read that in several lock picking uh, books that tension doesn't matter. Tension is the most important. And again, for beginners, we don't worry which way we're picking the lock. All we want to do for starters is get the feel and how we pick it. I consider three methods of picking the, the locks. The first method is raking. The second method uh, is called the French method or the field method. Of course, uh, the French like to call it the field method, but it's really called SPP. And SPP stands for single pin picking. And single pin picking is the most effective way. The method I like, well, we'll call it the Terry method, or the, the method that I find most effective for me that I've evolved, I find sometimes the locks are just ready to be opened. So what I do is I apply light tension, I rake it a couple times, and sometimes the lock just opens. So uh, I start right off, apply tension, rake it a couple times, and it pops open. If it doesn't pop open, I'll let go to make sure I hear a click, 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 or feel it that I've actually been, been picking a few pins. I'll apply light tension, I'll rake it a couple times, and I'll show you the methods, and then I'll go in and I'll do SPP, the three methods of picking a lock. Raking, which is great for beginners to get the feel for it, single pin picking, which takes a while to develop, and the, uh, the rake and feel method is what I use. I rake it, and then I feel, then I do the SPP. That's the three major methods to pick a lock, and we'll go into the techniques for each method right now. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Subscribe to my channel. Also, visit my website, and you can see what online locksmith training I have for beginners, intermediate, and advanced, as well as my covert methods of entry and my non-destructive methods of entry.